There's been a few issues with my PC. That's why the videos haven't been up um, recently. Um, I'm back, hopefully. Um, basically, my PC's been blue screening just randomly um, it, for no real reason. Um, like, I'd be playing the game normally. It doesn't matter what game, it's not just World of Tanks. I, I play Skyrim as well. And then randomly, it would just blue screen. And I wouldn't even get the error code because it would just restart before it's even given me the code. Um, so yeah, that's been fun trying to sort that out. Uh, I've reinstalled every driver known to man, so hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's all working now. Um, but we're back in the grind. We're back on good old big nooba. Um, and yeah, we're just going to try and uh, get some decent XP done today. Um, as you remember last time, we are now on our way to the final grind for the IS, uh, towards the IS-3. Um, 77,000. Uh, I mean, the thing is, it's kind of possible because it's possible that we could do this kind of fast. Um, it just depends on how many games I really want to play. Um, by the way, if you ever want to invest money into this game, um, the best way by far is one premium time. Um, that's what I would always recommend first. Um, but if you want to do a second thing, then get the battle pass. Um, it's really worth it because you can get all of these bonus items down the bottom as well as the top ones as well. So yeah, it's really worth it to do that. Um, but let's uh, put some boosters on. I think that we're going to have the good old... Oh, we've only got that left. Well, that's kind of a shame, but oh well. Um, and we're going to go and get a day of premium. There we go. Uh, also, this hangar is a mod. Um, it's a Chinese National Day hangar. Um, I'll leave a link to it if you really want it in the uh, description. Um, but yeah, let's get started, shall we? Okie dokie. Right, so we are on West Westfield. This is not Westfield. This is Live Oaks. Um, how many matchmaking for my ex friend? Okay, I don't understand why people even use XVM, honestly. Um, XVM is the, one of the worst mods you can use because it just, it makes people um, not able to actually play the game properly, right? Like right now, I could just, you could just be depressed because you've got an absolutely like stupid team, right? But we have four. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm, I'm glad, right? That I've uh, covered up the chat with my face because like half of the stuff that gets said in this game is just yeah. Um, also, we need to turn on engine sounds. Um, I've because uh, this is what I usually have when I stream. Uh, when I stream, I'll have uh, like the engine sounds off because um, I usually have music playing. But since we don't have that, uh, we can turn them on. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I've been uh, been away for a little bit, um, fixing the computer, but like, it's given me a good a good a good chance to try and um, like not uh, play the game as much. It's it's been a nice little break, right? Um, the thing is, with this game, I have to go on breaks, otherwise it's just infuriating. Um, if I keep playing this game like constantly, um, I try and play at least one game a day on my main account so I can get the tank rewards. Um, because all you need to do is just play one game every day, basically, um, and then you'll be able to get a tank for free at the end of it. Um, so that's what I would try and do. The sound is a little bit loud, I think. So why is. I don't understand why it always resets. We're not going to pen that. Get some assistance though. Worth it. Um, but yeah, I try and play one game because then you can get a free tank at the end, a free premium tank at the end, uh, which is always nice, um, as well as all these bonus items like equipment and stuff that you can get. Um, so yeah, that's what I try and do on my main account and then uh, also on this account, but I don't play this account as much as I probably should. Um, 
I kind of like uh, this account. I like to keep just for the grind series and don't really like playing it loads. Um, however, when it comes to probably tier eight, I'm gonna have to play more of this on stream. Uh, otherwise, we'll just never get the. <laughs> we'll never get to tier ten. <laughs> like it could take us ages. Otherwise, um, so yeah. Uh, at the moment, uh, you know what? Oh, we'll try and cross. Beautiful. Russian accuracy at its finest. Um, okay, so there's a Yudas and a T20 prototype. The T20, both of them haven't been spotted yet. Um, so that tells me that they're probably around here. Uh, Yudas or T28 might be here. I would say that the Yudas is going to be at the back here, though, uh, more than likely. So we just need to be watching out for that. Um, my little pixel tank. Very nice name. Uh, it looks like we've won the city though. HP is about even, but we don't actually know that because um, they're out of our render range. So they wouldn't have registered. That was unlucky. Basically, the way the HP mod at the top works is it counts everyone within your view range and anyone outside it counts as full HP. Basi I, I think that's how it works. Because you, you obviously don't know what's going on. Pantera, and that's okay. Nice and fun. Yeah, we don't have a light tank over here. For some reason, our light tank's gone to the city. I don't know why. Um, that really doesn't help us at all. Like, why would you send the vision into the city? when you're going to have the heavy tanks that are going to spot the city anyway. Um, it doesn't make sense. So, unfortunately, we're just going to have to be patient. Which, as you've probably guessed, it's a theme of World of Tanks. You sit here doing nothing because the maps are designed that way. Um, this map's actually fine. Like, honestly. Um, if I was in a if I was in a faster tank, then I could have just gone like this. But yeah, I mean, maybe I should have gone to the city, but I really didn't want to try and fight a um, a defender, renegade, all of them. Well, we kind of got robbed of that shell. Artie's over there. Trying to blindfire the artillery. I know there's still the, um, the stair Waffentrager over there. Who is right there? Very nice. Put another show into him. All is good. I'm just gonna wait a second. Really? Oh, he's moving away. Okay. I was hoping to kill him, but. Did not happen. But yeah, like, tier 7 against tier 9s is just never going to work, let's be honest. Um, there's nothing you can really do. Uh, what tier 9s do they even have? T54 Lightweight, Uda 16. Uda 16 is awful. Um, but I mean, yeah. Do you believe? Why didn't you believe? Could have believed in the little shot. Please wait, I have a, the Char Future just said please wait I have a mission and went and rushed in and died. <laughs> he doesn't have a shot on me at the moment because there's a wall in the way. I'm going to try and kill this guy in a second. Whoop. Nice. He should die though. I mean, come on, man. 
team. Thank you. Don't know why that was so difficult. Um, but yeah, first game of the day. Like, it's always going to be a little bit bad. Because um, obviously, your first game, you haven't warmed up at all. Like, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that for the first game. It's not too bad. Um, let's see what we uh, get out of this. Oh, we have the epic reward. Oh, don't you just love it. Yeah, we'll apply that. Why not? Exclusive premium account discount. Whoa! How do we actually do? Well, I mean, it's... It's bad, but, like, it's not completely terrible. I mean, it's a tier 7, so... Upgrade your account within three days of World Tanks Premium account right now for 60%, 62% off the regular price. Where's the... I'm having a look at this. What do you mean item unavailable? So you're on 10k XP now, which is nice. We're slowly getting there. Let's just continue. Um, another thing I do want to say, the anniversary coins are going away in two days. Um, so if you still have some left over, then make sure you convert them into whatever you want. You can get 100% XP bonuses, um, which are very nice to have. Let's go and sort that out. That goes down there. That will get sorted out in a second. Um, which are very nice to have, especially if you're grinding up the tech trees. Um, or you can get 300% crew uh, XP, which is also very nice for training up your crew. Um, they cost like 20 each, and I think you'll get like 100 or something like really easily. So, um, yeah, it's uh, worth it to go and uh, sort that out. Um, but we are on fjords, we're on the losing side, but it's not too bad for heavy tanks. Um, it is against tier 6s, so we are top tier, which is nice. Um, but yeah, we're going to the heavy tank flank, and um, we'll just see what happens. It's always annoying whenever I move this mod, right, or change the thing. I've got to wait until next game for it to then disappear like this little tiny thing. <sighs> but yeah, it's... Um, this map's not too bad. It's... The thing is, right, if you're in anything other than a heavy tank, it's kind of bad. I mean, there's free arty as well. I didn't even look at that. Um, because I'm quite slow, I'm not even going to bother to try and shoot these at the start. I don't know what this M6 is doing. This M6 is literally going on an adventure, and I don't know where he's going. Um, back to the garage is my um, prediction. Ugh. Where's the KV? Fr okay, I don't understand what this enemy team is doing. This is the weirdest enemy team I've ever seen. Next thing you know, the T29 is going to be up here or something. Hello, friends. Can I get past? Okay, well, Wargaming's modeling system is useless. I'm very sorry. Right, can we? Can I go past? Like, rather than you just blocking the path? Please? If there's anything at the back, there's only a Super Hellcat, no Jagdpanzer IV over there, so... Let's go and try to kill this Eagle 7. Eagle 7's not a bad tank, to be honest. Four hundred into him. He's dead. There's no point going left. Might as well go right. Where is this T twenty nine? We get spotted here. There's someone on this island somewhere, or up there. I'm just worried about this T29. I don't know where he's gone. And we're going to aim and aim and aim and aim and aim and fire. We've lost a track. Track. We'll just ping where the M44 is. We'll tell him that the M44 is over there. What is that? Why is... 
that's just... Okay. Um, you know how I joked about the T-29 going up there? I don't understand what this enemy team's doing. This is the weirdest enemy team I've seen in a long time. Um, let's try and get a shot to the Yagpanzer IV, the Super Hellcat. I don't know. Oh, hello. I don't go down there. It's safe. Drop up. How, how long the aiming time is on this tank. Just peek me again. Come on. Slowly. Slowly. Man, the... The aiming time on this tank really is so bad. Might get rid of coated optics. I don't really need it. Like you got to move the turret so slow if you actually want to stay accurate. There's a super Hellcat gun. What is he doing? Very balanced artillery, yep. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, it's not too bad then. But I don't know. This tank really is just. The gun handling on it is just not good. I mean, we have credits, so we... I think I might actually get rid of Coated Optics. I don't really need Coated Optics, to be honest. Like, you're not designed to spot. It's 200k. Um, so yeah, we'll do that, and we'll see how this works out. Um, it's unfortunate we can't put that there, because then we could have got a little bit more out of it, but it's fine. I just I just want to try and get the gun handling a bit better. It really does take a while to aim. Mm, mines against tier 9s? That's just not fun. Nothing about this matchup right here is fun. Nothing. Okay, where are we going to go? Um, how much better is this gun handling? I mean, I suppose it's a little bit better. One RT, which is not nice. This map with even one RT is nearly unplayable. I hope the E75 is going to go here and not here. Because that's going to actually be an issue. Um... Yeah, that's going to be a big issue, actually, if he comes this way. Now keep going, it's safe. No idea where that went. No idea. Gun handling on this tank really is terrible. And now he's dead. No, oh, and I've just got. Yep, okay. Very fun. Conway using the big gun at the back of the map. Like, uh, I don't get it. Why is this map at higher tiers? This map should stop at tier 6. You should never be able to see this map past tier 6. Like, we have the entire team of TDs just sitting here with, that can't actually shoot anything. I can't push up now because the TDs at the back of the map can shoot me. Like, 
I guess I just sit here and drink coffee. Cheers. Uh, I suppose we go around the other side because we can't push this at all. A load premium. 175 pen is a joke against tier 9s. Uh. Okay, you know what? We can't even go that way. Because they own this side as well. Oh my god, this map. This map is genuinely just so frustrating to play. Everyone has maxed out view range or spotting range, so that's the entire map spotted. Like, no matter where you go, you get spotted. why it doesn't work at tier at tier anything above tier 6 see I want to try and shoot them but if I move up to there then I'm probably going to get spotted from the side but you can't push this because there's TDs at the back but south spawn on this map is actually just useless because you don't even get the high ground for um, the TDs. Like, your TDs just have to sit there on, like, flat ground and just hope for the best. How much can I high roll this for? 217. I don't even know. I feel like 250 if I'm lucky. I guess. Meanwhile, we have a T30 just sitting here chilling. I'm just going to spam premium, I don't care. I want damage out of this game as much as I can do. SU isn't there. Be nice if our um, Scorpion G could just go and kill the uh, what's it called? He's looking at me. Did I get a shot in? I don't know. Maybe. There's not a lot you can do on this map, especially when you're bottom tier. Like the, the genuinely, this map, it should just be removed, removed from higher tiers. It should be a tier 6 maximum map, and never, never should be a tier 10 map. This map in tier 10 is just stupid, especially when you have CGCs. Um, yeah, that's just as simple as it is. You can't... I, there's nothing you can do when you're bottom tier on that map. At the higher tiers. Nothing. Um, artillery ruins that map completely, and also the south spawn... Just gets destroyed every time, nearly. Because the North's one is so much better. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's... Uh, I was going to say let's play a game in this, but I can't because this is my crew. And I'm not playing that tank. Um, oh well. 1.2. So we did get a blind shot, yeah? Yeah, we got two into him. Very nice. Um, yeah. Like... 
I don't understand how you can do this. Um, honestly. If you fired seven shots on that map and you've only done 200 damage. It, genuinely impressive. Like, look at their artillery. Where is it? And how many shots did he fire? 12. Like, all you have to do is just sit there and just fire at the heavy tanks and you've got loads of damage. But we're at 16,000, so I guess we're slowly getting there, right? Um, we'll play one more game. Okay, so we're on Pilsen, and we're in we're in middle tier, so it's not too bad. Um, this is actually not... You know what? This map isn't too bad. Um, there's only one RT, which is good for us. We have an M44, they have a Hummel. The Hummel's going to hit slightly harder, but the M44 is just going to fire every like two seconds, so... The M44 is one of the most broken things in the game. Um, it's much more broken than uh, a Chieftain 279. Um, artillery is the most broken class in the game. Right? If you want my complete honest opinion about what's the most OP things in the game, it's artillery. Right? And before all of you go, oh, no, it's not. Right? It is. Think about it. A Chieftain. You actually have to fight it, right? So you can see it. Artillery sits behind about four million different houses and can just dump on you from a back, the back of the map. From complete safety. It has no counter unless your team, your team's artillery, chooses to go and counter it. And why would he do that when he could just go and get the same amount of damage? Yeah, that's why artillery is the most broken thing in the game. And things like the CGC, the M44, um, they're the most broken tanks in the game. And they're not even tanks. I don't... I, I am not saying the Chieftain 279E are not broken because they are, right? <laughs> like, they're stupidly overpowered and they don't need to be that good. But like, anyone that says that the, the 279E and Chieftain aren't overpowered... Um, they, they're just wrong. Right? Because even if the Chieftain... The Chieftain is overpowered when it's holed down. Sure, when it's out of cover and it's completely, you know, defenseless because of it's, it doesn't have anything to go hold down on, then, yeah, it's not really overpowered because you can just kill it pretty easily. Um, but if anyone says that artillery is fine, then no. That's just... How can anyone say artillery is fine in this game at the moment? Anyway, hello. Um, this is a weird way of playing Pilsen. I'm telling you right now, I don't know what's happened. We're going to try and bounce him. Ready? Whoop. Whoop. All right, then. Well, actually, we're fine. Uh, we are going to repair our uh, fuel tanks, though. Uh, Panther M10 is probably going to come out in a second. Why are we bouncing? My tank is rather happy. Um, I've been kind of um, thinking about this recently and it's like my enjoyment levels of water tanks has definitely gone down quite a bit recently but don't get me wrong this is still my favourite game to play um, and I still love making like you know videos and stuff like that but like I love making videos like, actually playing the game, <laughs> on the other hand, is, like, a completely different thing. Um, especially at higher tiers, which is what I, ma majority of the time, like, want to play. Um, oh, for goodness sake. Um, it's just not really too fun. Um, honestly. Like, the balance, like, the, you know, the game's going, like, three minutes and super fast. Um... It's just not really enjoyable, and having free artillery in games, it's just... How does that bounce? It's just not enjoyable to play, is what I'm saying. So like, I'm kind of glad that I did take that break uh, earlier on. I'm good. Right. How, how lucky does this man want to get? 
Maybe it's a woman. Do it again. Do it again. Well, that's an interesting game. I I honestly I have never in my life out of all the games of World of Tanks seen nobody go this side. Not one person went this side of the map. I've never seen that. Like we got 1.5k damage which is Eh. But like, I don't know. Like, people are just playing so weird on the EU server recently. But I've watched so many people just throw away their tanks for free. Like, sure, I could have played it better, but at the end of the day, I don't really care. Like, I should have killed the M10. Like, every single time that he peaked, I should have put a shot into him and killed him. Or done damage to him. So this should have been way over, like, 2k. Um, and that M10 should have been dead long ago. He got stupidly lucky. Like, two of them hit the wall, uh, and one of them bounced somehow. Um, like, we can actually go and take a look. She can take a look. Let's go. Enemies. Like, come on. Only one of them hit the M10, and it's not even, you know... He got very lucky that that penned. If he had gone a little bit more right, he would have bounced. Okay, you know what? That M10 is like the luckiest person I've ever seen in my life. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, that will do it for today. Um, really wasn't a good session, to be honest. But there's nothing that you can really do. Um, the M10... How many games he's played? Okay! Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, then you know what to do. Um, and I will see you all in the next episode. And I'll try and hopefully get the next grind episode out pretty soon.